Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will write a Java code that returns true if the string contains unique characters. And we are going to ignore the white spaces. The string can contain ASCII and Unicode characters, which ranges uh, between 0 to 65,535. We will use a map for this with a corrector and a boolean type. And we will use the characters of the given string while uh, using a car at method. And we will try to put the corrector from index into this map. And we'll put the corresponding boolean value from false to true. So when uh, we will use a map.put, it uh, return null if there was no mapping for the given key. If uh, in, case, in our case that is a character, if there is a mapping for the given key for our character, then map.put uh, will return the previous value, uh, which will be true uh, associated with this key. So when the return value is not null, we can conclude that at least one character is duplicated. So we can say that the given string doesn't contain any characters. Let's see how to implement it. I have already defined the class and added the main function. I will import java.util package. And I will define uh, our method or uh, static function where we are going to check the string and this will be public static boolean return type is string unique and this will take a string Side, we are going to create our hash map map of type corrector and boolean and I will name it car map corrector map and we are going to create hash map object by calling new operator hash map and now we are going to use a for loop this will be and we are going to loop through each character of our string for int i equals to zero and i the string length is less than string length and i plus plus and also i'm going to define uh, our uh, max code for the corrector that will be over here in our class. This will be private static final int car. And this will be set to 
the maximum code this graphic can have. So, so this is the five, five, three, five, because we are also checking for the Unicode characters. And now back to our for loop. And inside our for loop, we are going to check the character code that it is less than or equal to our max code. So this is going to be if our string dot code point at index i is less than less than or equal to our car max code and inside over here in the if condition we are going to retrieve our character car c Calling string dot car at and pass in the index. And now we are going to check if it's not a white space character. is white space if the character is not white space then in our if condition Inside of our if we are going to put into our car map if if car car map dot put dot put our character set to true is not equal to no that means the character already exists over in our map so the string uh, contains duplicate character then we are going to return false Else, we are just going to print uh, some message system uh, dot timeline string dot string contains invalid character. Return false again. And if 
uh, everything goes fine and the string is unique so at the end we are just going to return true There's a send call missing at the end of the statement. Need to add that one and save. And now we are going to test this function. Here we are going to check in our main function is. program one was missing over here at the end and over here string is a true that is that uh, string has a unique character let's uh, try another string I'll add another B. So this string now have a duplicate character. So our function is a string unique should return false. And our program now return false. So this way you can uh, check uh, the string contains unique characters or not in Java. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Us and Code. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.